Hey guys, so in the latest installment of the What Makes a Stud, I guess, whatever, um, you know, with Buffleheads, it's pretty straightforward, to be honest. Like, this one I haven't painted yet, but it's, feather-wise, it's what it's going to be. Um, obviously, that's not going to change, but, I mean, really with them, like, there's a few species. Um, if you shoot in, say, October, end of October, when most of the hunting season's open, you're going to get uh, a pretty good bird, like, by that point. I mean, obviously, uh, buffleheads, hooded mergans are a lot of widgeon. Even though there's a lot of variants, plumage-wise, they're kind of, you know, pretty full. Um, gadwall, there, there's a few. Obviously, whistling ducks, but this is that's for, like, a south thing. Um, but with buffs, it's like, you know, why, you, you know, especially if it's the wider the, the belly is cosmetically, um that's more of a genetics thing, kind of like with teal, they get, you know, some white on them, more white than others. But I mainly just look for long as like a nice stripe that you can make um, along the scaps and along the side pockets. You know, normally you can you can do them together. I like to do just a little bit separate, just that way it's, visually it kind of sticks out more. Um, the head, the only thing I would say on a young one is like the head will be um, uh, fuzzy or kind of frizzy. Or it's because they're shorter and they're, there's it's like or split ends or something. I don't know what the word would be, but it is kind of noticeable. Like it just kind of looks a little frizzy. And generally that's because they're not quite all the way grown um, where they've kind of gotten rid of those feathers and the frizz in. So other than that, I mean, mount wise, you could still mount it up and it would still turn out pretty good. Um, but I always say like, you know, if you're looking for that one where it's like, oh, crap, man, this is the one. Then, yeah, I mean, the wider the belly, the kind of poofier the head, you know, I mean, it's always going to be in just size wise, too. I mean, because, I mean, most of the time, if you shoot a couple and you have one that's clearly bigger than the others, clearly brighter or more defined then stuff like that, then that's going to be the one to save. Like, yeah, there may not be a lot of differences, but if you, there are when in a group that you got or thinking about mounting, then anyway, so not a whole lot. I mean, I have... um a flying one here still carded and everything, but you know, this is kind of what I was talking about on the belly. Um, just a little bit of gray tipped. I know it doesn't show up super well, but just a little bit of, you know, just, it's not just that cause you know, it'll never normally be like white all the way down, but it'll be kind of like, it'll kind of have a little taper towards the center, you know, about the halfway point up. But again, that's, you know, yeah, I mean, so I would say this would probably be a, like a, a more early season or maybe a slightly younger. But as far as like if I'm looking back at once the feet are painted, obviously, and everything's off, it's going to look like a nice bird. So not as big of a deal as say like, I mean, the buff's kind of short and sweet, to be honest. Um, and I just wanted to show a few from my video before about shovelers, because like this one, this is kind of what I was talking about at the time. Um is it a better bird than you would normally get at a, you know, most of the time in the season? Yeah, it's a decent bird. Um, mountable, I mean, not personally, but, you know, like if there's a few of these brown feathers, I'll pluck them out. But there's just so many that it would just do more damage than good. Um, you know, he does have green head that's coming in pretty, pretty good. The wings are going to be blue, whatever. But, you know, really the white coming out here. Um, cause you can even have some that are quite bright white on the breast and, you know, that area. And I was just going to say breast and some of the back, but it's just the scaps. It just, when they're, when the white is coming through on both sides, it just makes such a big visual difference. And obviously with the white, but then, so you got this one here, move past the buff, go to this guy. So this one has more white but we're still stuck in the same thing of, you know, you can see up here, the white kind of coming in um, a little bit more, but it's still lacking obviously. Cause I mean, all these feathers here should be white. So green head, it'll look good on the wall. Um, a lot of times you'll see stuff like this. It'll be the best shoveler a person has got in their lifetime that they've been able to get. Cause down here, I know some places, you know, they'll get them, um, just depending on the geography and the, the weather. But here in South Texas, like, a, I mean, getting a shoveler that's, you know, 
like a stud one. Hold on, let me go to that one. And getting one that's like this, it's for me a lot of them will never happen. And this was this was a um, last week, last uh, ten days of the season, years and years back. Um, but keep in mind, like when I got him, he was in a flock of about two hundred that were doing the feeding circle. And this was the best one out of 200 at the last weekend of the season, just to give you an idea of what kind of, you know, and I I had to sit and wait for, I think it was like two hours about before he finally, you know, came and got an opportunity at him. But, you know, it's, it's certainly not uh, like that is a trophy based on just rarity, I guess, or difficulty of getting. Hold on. So anyway, just wanted to do one on the buff. Um, I'll try to do uh, one on the pintail um, here pretty soon. I just have a flying one that I think would be a good representation. And then, like I said, just a few of them, because it's like when you see so many and you do so many over a year, um, years, decades, um, there's obviously things that stick out. And there's obviously things that when you see it, as soon as you see it, um, it's like, oh, well, that's going to be a a full stud bird. So anyway, that is the buffle head. Thanks guys.